Leadership law number six: the law of solid ground. Trust is the foundation of leadership. People expect a lot from their leaders, but they will also forgive many things. They show patience with inexperience. They will overlook occasional mistakes based on poor ability. But one thing they won't do is trust someone who exhibits slips in character. In that area, even occasional lapses are lethal. Why? Because trust is the foundation of leadership. All effective leaders know this truth. PepsiCo Chairman and CEO Craig Weatherup says that people will tolerate honest mistakes, but if you violate their trust, you will find it very difficult to ever regain their confidence. Another strong leader, General Norman Schwarzkopf, affirmed that same principle when he said, "Leadership is a potent combination of strategy and character, but if you must be without one, be without strategy." You cannot separate character and leadership credibility; they always go hand in hand. Anthony Harrigan, president of the U.S. Business and Industrial Council, said, "The role of character always has been the key factor in the rise and fall of nations, and one can be sure that America is no exception to this rule of history. We won't survive as a country because we are smarter or more sophisticated, but because we are, we hope, stronger inwardly. In short." Character is the only effective bulwark against internal and external forces that lead to a country's disintegration or collapse. Character creates trust, and trust makes leadership possible. That is the law of solid ground. Whenever you lead people, it is as if they consent to take a journey with you. The way that trip will turn out is predicted by your character. With good character, the longer the trip is. The better it seems to get, but if your character is flawed, the longer the trip is, the worse it is. That's true because no one enjoys spending time with someone he doesn't trust. Character communicates many things to followers. First, character communicates consistency. NBA great Jerry West commented, "You can't get too much done in life if you only work on the days when you feel good." Leaders without inner strength can't be counted on day after day because their ability to perform changes constantly. If your people don't know what to expect from you as a leader, at some point they won't look to you for leadership. Second, character communicates potential. John Morley observed, "No man can climb out beyond the limitations of his own character." That's especially true when it comes to leadership. And Craig Weatherup says. You don't build trust by talking about it. You build it by achieving results, always with integrity, and in a manner that shows real personal regard for the people with whom you work. When people trust you, they believe your relationship has a future. Third, character communicates respect. When you don't have strength within, you can't earn respect without, and respect is absolutely essential for lasting leadership. How do leaders earn respect? By making sound decisions, admitting their mistakes, and putting what's best for their followers and the organization ahead of their own personal agendas, a leader's good character builds trust among his followers. But when a leader breaks trust, he forfeits his ability to lead. That's the law of solid ground. I was again reminded of this while listening to a talk titled "Lessons from a Leadership Nightmare," taught by my friend Bill Hybels. He spoke about his observations concerning the mistakes made by Robert McNamara and the Johnson administration during the Vietnam War. The greatest insight Bill shared concerned the failure of American leaders, including McNamara, to face and publicly admit the terrible mistake that they had made concerning the war in Vietnam. Their actions broke trust with the American people, and because of that, they violated the law of solid ground. The United States has been suffering from the repercussions ever since. In his book, in retrospect, McNamara recounts that he repeatedly minimized Americans' losses and told only half truths about the war. For example, he says, "Upon my return to Washington from Saigon on December 21, 1963, I was less than candid when I reported to the press." And McNamara went on to give the specifics from his interview. For a while, nobody questioned McNamara's statements. Because there was no reason to mistrust the country's leadership, 
But in time, people recognized that his words and the facts weren't matching up. And that's when the American public began to lose faith. Years later, McNamara admitted his failure. He said, We of the Kennedy and Johnson administrations who participated in the decisions on Vietnam acted according to what we thought were the principles and traditions of this nation. We made our decisions in light of those values. Yet we were wrong, terribly wrong. Many would agree that McNamara's admission came 30 years and 58,000 lives too late. The cost of Vietnam was high, and not just in human lives. As the American people's trust in their leaders eroded, so did their willingness to follow them. Protests led to open rebellion and to society-wide turmoil. The era that had begun with hope and idealism, characterized by John F. Kennedy, ultimately ended with mistrust and cynicism associated with Richard Nixon. Whenever a leader breaks the law of solid ground, he pays a price in his leadership. McNamara and President Johnson lost the trust of the American people and their ability to lead suffered as a result. Eventually, McNamara resigned as Secretary of Defense. Johnson, the consummate politician, recognized his weakened position and he didn't run for re-election. But the repercussions of broken trust didn't end there. The American people's distrust for politicians has continued to this day, and it is still growing. No leader can break trust with his people and expect to keep influencing them because trust is the foundation of leadership. Violate the law of solid ground, and you're through as a leader.